You're so passionate about what you do when you talk about what you're doing. You're so unassuming in what you do and you don't care about what other people think of you and your brand. Like, you're so into what you do, but so into what others do, you know? Like, and this is like the relationships that I look for with a restaurant and who I want to supply the restaurant. Try to catch me howling at the moon. from like a, a big family, so I have five siblings. The hospitality, community, food, drink was always part of our life. And it was a really big part about it. Like I had this foundation that, you know, around the table or around a bottle of something is where real relationships are formed, I, I think. Mm. And you know, I, I, it's hard for me to describe because I feel like I'm the same with my restaurant, mm. you know, and, and Sixpenny. I want people to feel comfortable, feel like they're walking into our home. To the very end. So, Wildflower, when, when did it start? When did it open? We started brewing here in December of 2016. Beer has been such a male dominated. Thing for so long and that was just not where I wanted to see our space or our products. Like our beer is actually more approachable to a lot of different palates than, than beer as a wider group. And that was also a massive part for me starting this brewery was the fact that um, it became much more about the flavors that we were be able to create. Well, you find me when you, when you started, when you first started making beer, so it was just a store-bought culture. It wasn't like a live, wasn't a live culture. So you started no. doing that. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, you do make beer based off a list of ingredients. And a lot of times those ingredients are sourced from around the world rather than where you are. You know, beer is water, malt, hops, and yeast. That's all you need to make beer. If we're using yeast that's native to here, our our beer will be more representative of the place that it's made. So where does yeast come from? Where can you find it in the wild? Mm. Maybe I'm also just a massive cheapskate. <laughs> like it's just super thrifty. And it's like, it's free, it's sitting out there, let's use yeah. it. You know, we live in this amazing continent um, with an incredible history, all of its own. And, and that's, that's largely what we do today, I guess, is exploring the potential of what could be made here like work with our farmers of the raw materials, work with the native yeast that we use to ferment our beer and, and watch, like just prepare the conditions for it and watch and wait for it to say, okay, I'm, I'm ready or taste this, this is really cool. Yeah. But I just think when you, you're doing this from something that drives you, you know, not from external people telling you what you should be doing. Uh, for me, I just think they're timeless exercises, you know. Mm. Well, Dan and I will probably just sit here and drink this. Yeah. You guys can go to the next place. <laughs> We're just gonna yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> <laughs>